why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil, for oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it.
Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. Help me. Come on. these men. Can anyone see Eagle Flash? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you want, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with them. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get in the factory, now. This war is just beginning.
good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. I gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. Not much. I 
got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. As it should be. Come on. We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job. But well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't going to be nothing nice. Be safe, Martha. <laughs> 